Good morning, I'm Mark Austin. These are some of your latest local headlines. Police say a suspect has been charged with murder after a woman was shot and killed inside her north side apartment. Here's what we know. Officers say the suspect was actually in another unit when the bullets came flying into the victim's home. This happened in the 10,300 block of Sahara just before 10 last night. Police say the shooter fired multiple shots. The victim was hit in the stomach. She was taken to a local hospital but later died. The suspect tried to take off, but he was caught by police nearby. Police also investigating another in overnight shooting. This one happened on the east side just before 11 o'clock last night near W.W. White and Interstate 10. Police say a man was shot in the upper torso while he was walking on W.W. White. Officers say a female who was driving by picked him up and drove him to a nearby hotel to call for help. Police say three suspects were seen leaving that area. It's not clear what sparked the shooting. This morning, newspapers scattered all around Fredericksburg Road across the street right here at the Budget Suites of America. Major damage to the property and some parked cars. And across the street, a Toyota Tacoma totaled after a driver wrecked out here. Police say this all happened on the 7800 block of Fredericksburg Road this morning. A man went into a 7-Eleven just up the road to deliver some newspapers. But when he got out, he became the news. Police say a man stole the truck, parked it here at the Budget Suites of America. There he was cornered by police but refused to comply with their commands. Ended up hitting several parked cars, drove across the street, abandoned that truck here and ran off on foot. Police say they do have one person detained. What they're doing now is reviewing the surveillance video from that 7-Eleven just up the road as well as the dash cam of a patrol officer. And that's because we know the suspect did back up into one of the patrol units. No injuries have been reported as of this morning. Alicia Barrera, KSAT 12 News. An overnight house fire here in Elmendorf is now in the hands of police. Good morning, I'm Katrina Weber. They are the lead investigators on the cause of this fire. It happened here on South 2nd Avenue near 9th Street. The fire broke out just before 3 o'clock this morning. We had firefighters both from Bear County and St. Hedwig on scene. They say they found flames on the front side of the house. They initially thought that someone was inside, so they went inside and conducted a search, found out the house was empty. But they say that it is unusual that with no one home and the fire starting outside the house, uh, that this would happen. So they have called in, again, Elmendorf Police. That's the lead investigators in this city when it comes to fires. They will make a determination here whether they do need to call in help from the Bear County Fire Marshal's Office to look for the cause of this fire. Reporting in Elmendorf, Katrina Weber, KSAT 12 News. And that is all for now. More headlines online at ksat.com and also with the KSAT app. Have a great day.